In this video we are going to see the graphs of polar coordinates and how to plot the points on polar graphs. Unlike our rectangular color, uh, coordinate system, in polar coordinate system we have only one axis which we call is as the polar axis. Actually this is the horizontal axis like X. But we define the points, the coordinates of points as the distance from the pole, meaning the origin, and the angle between that line segment and the polar axis. So we write the distance and the angle as the coordinates. This is called as the polar coordinates. To graph this point, of course I'm going to do a sketch, but you can do the graphing up to scale, measuring with a ruler and measuring the angle with a protractor. Now, I have to first draw my polar axis. And of course this is my origin or pole. Then placing your protractor as shown, you can measure the angle 45 degrees which is here so with the ruler you can measure one two units whatever maybe centimeters inches you don't know so this will be your point A which is 2 to 45 degrees well, in the second example, we have two things different, which is not much of a problem. The first thing is we have radian measure here. Well, in your protractor, you don't have radian measure, so you have to convert, which is actually 120 degrees. Another thing is we have minus 1.5. So this minus sign is for the direction of the point. The thing is, well, we're talking about distance, it cannot be negative. So, it's obviously for the direction. So, let's see how we go through this. Now, we are going to draw our polar axis again. Then, we are going to measure the angle of 120 degrees, which is here and we will draw from here a line touching the pole. Now I extended the line through south let's say through the bottom of the page because well the direction here for minus 1.5 will give me through the end of the page at the bottom of the page. Let's see how. Now this is my angle 2 pi over 3 which is 120 degrees now if it was 1.5 it would be like 1 2 let's say so it will be here if it was 1.5 to 2 pi over 3 but it is not it is minus 1.5 to 2 pi over 3 so I will go through exactly the opposite direction and say 1, 2, so my point will be here as minus 1.5 to 2 pi over 3. That's how I find my point B. So what happens if we have a negative sign in front of the angle? Well, let's see we will draw our polar axis and then we will measure 30 degrees not counterclockwise but clockwise direction because it says minus 30 degrees so I have to change my di direction I have to go the other way around so 30 degrees is here I mark it and 
then I going I will measure one two three units so saying that this is three two minus thirty degrees which this is the angle thirty degrees here so this is how I plot the points in polar coordinates if I don't have any polar grid now let's see how we plot the points on polar grids in this example it says graph each point on a polar grid the first point is P with 3 to 4 pi over 3 now our polar grid is something like that and my polar axis is here where it says 0 now uh, first of all I should find 4 pi over 3 which is actually here so we're talking about this line so that the angle is 4 pi over 3 and then we are going to measure 3 units how am I going to do that? well I'm going to count the circles in the direction of 4 pi over 3 so it will be 1 2 and 3 so my point P will be here so it's much easier without using ruler or protractor we can just plot the points on the polar grid now let's see another example in this one we have this point Q with minus 3.5 250 degrees well actually you may have the polar grids given in degrees and uh, in radians now you can go through 150 degrees which is actually 5 pi over 6 so it will be in this di let's throw a nice one it will be in this direction now I extended my line because of the minus sign in front of 3.5 it's obvious that I'm not going to go through counting one, two, three and a half in this direction because it is not 3.5, it is minus 3.5. So I have to go through this direction, one, two, three and a half. So my point will be here because of the direction issue. Now you can try on your own the first three questions on regular ruler and protractor usage and the second set can be drawn on polar grids. Please stop the video now and try to plot the points on the polar axis or polar grid and then play the video to see the answers. Now let's talk about multiple representations of polar coordinates. Now remember from basic trigonometry that if you have the unit circle, you can turn around the unit circle as much as you want. So for a certain point P, you can have if, well, this has the coordinates of cosine theta and sine theta you can have infinitely many other coordinates by turning 360 degrees each so this will be the same for polar coordinates as well now let's see how now the question says find four different pairs of polar coordinates that name the point T if the theta the degree uh, the angle between the polar axis and the point is between minus 360 degrees and 360 degrees now before you ask teacher what T here is T on the polar grid now we want to express this with four different pairs of polar coordinates now the first one is obvious which is 1 2 3 4 2 135 degrees 
Now that's my coordinates. That's my first pair. Now the second pair, third pair and fourth pair I'm going to get, I'll try to change the angle so that it will be in between minus 360 and 360. And also I can change the uh, distance in terms of direction. Okay, let's see how. Now if I extend this line like this, then, well, I can say first that it is, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, but on the opposite direction. So, I can write like this, minus 4, 2. Of course, what is the angle here? It is 315. Now, how I think here is that, well, I go through this angle, I find my point here, then I change my direction so I get T. So it's minus 4 to 315. What's more, I can do the same thing for the angle also. I mean, I can consider the same opposite direction, but this time, instead of writing 315, I can go to clockwise direction, which is here it is 45 degrees, and I can say minus 45. Then, it is 1, 2, 3, 4 here. I find it 45 degrees and the distance being 4. Just that, I will write minus 4 so that it will go to the other direction to represent T. And finally, I can keep the distance the same, just that instead of going through opposite directions or something else, I can just turn around. Well, this is my direction here. I can just turn around clockwise 360 degrees. This means I can calculate 125 minus 360, which will give me minus 225 degrees. Actually, it is the angle from here to here. So it will be 4 to minus 225 degrees. So these are the other representations of the point T as polar coordinates. Now you can try these points. You have to write additional three pairs of polar coordinates as we did in the example. So please try on your own and play the video again to see the answers.